When I was younger, I would just imagine anybody was in front of me and I would just try as many moves as possible. So I would start out with the basics and that would just be a simple crossover, but it was hard and fast and it would be game speed. So if the defender, you game speed, you're gonna go to the basket, you're gonna pull up. And that's how you create combinations. And I created combinations with the drills I did. So I would be by myself and then I would do crossover behind the back and then behind the back and then go to a pull up. And I would just work on consistent combinations. You always want to have second and third and fourth and fifth and sixth moves where the defender just gets tired and he doesn't want to guard you anymore. That's how I practiced. So I would have in and out between the legs to a behind the back to a spin to a pull up. I mean, not many defenders can guard that. And it's fast and game speed. And that's how I would practice. Consistently practice that move over and over again till you feel like every time you do that move, you're going to make the shot. And that's what it's about. Repetition and consistency. When I'm splitting the pick and roll, I have a variety of options. The first option is to stop and pop. So I'm coming off right here, one hard dribble. The defender's helpless right here, and there's space in between him and me in the basket. And, that, and that's the first option. The second option is I'm coming off, I split the pick and roll. He steps up again. There's the Euro step. You step in between the defender's legs and you create space by using your first leg, your pivot foot, and then stepping around him and then reversing it. And the third option is the spin move. It's a dangerous move. I mean, it just depends on how the defender plays you. So if I have it in my left hand and he's shading me this way, then use the spin move and it's a quick one. After you spin off him, you always want to shield him with your off hand. So I spin off him and keep him over here. That way, if he comes over your body, that's a foul, and it's an N1, automatic basket. The most important thing is you're balancing your foot. The best way to use a Euro step when attacking a defender, that's a counter move to finish a layup. You know, if the defender steps over and stops you from, you know, making a layup, um, that's, that's the best way to use a Euro. Once I get past the defender in front of me, um, my mindset is to see who's the next person stepping up. So as I make a move or cross the ball over, and I'm dribbling towards the rim, if I set him up and he stops me, boom, I step through and finish the ball. So it, it's, it's basically a read. You're reading the defender who stops the ball and, and, and tries to stop you from you know, making your layup. Your first step is the most important step. And then as he steps over, you pick your foot up and you know, finish your layup. You know, so it's all, it's all a read and it happens so fast, but that's the beauty of the move. I'm a hard left-hand driver, so, you know, usually when I catch the ball, I, I go I go left a lot. You know, I think a lot of defenders notice that about me, that I like to go left, so basically what I just did, I set him up with the hard left, like I usually go, and just cross the back over, so, you know, I back him up, size him up, boom, like I'm going left, and then just cross him. And once I get to the lane, you know, it's big down there. I want to try to finish over top of him, but they don't help. You know, right there, they didn't help, so I was able to finish that direction.
I dribble, and the man, he's waiting for me to shoot it, because I did it four times in a row now. He's waiting for me to shoot it. So I cross it over. He bit on it, and I knock it down. Easy as simple as that, you know? And you want to give him a long step so he could bite on that. Give him a crossover. Make sure you don't carry it in palm it, because they're going to call it. Get low with it and get into a good shot. I start right here so I can get a, a clear lane to the basket so I can get open. And uh, with the ball right here, this man, he's denying me so I won't get in the post. So I step this leg over here, kind of push him off a little bit, not too much, and run up to the top. Swing the pass, take a look at everybody first. You look who's guarding you, give him a jab. Bait him a little bit. You think you're going that way, cross it over. Get as far away from the man as you can so you get into a good shot. This man helps right here. I lean, come over, he helps. Easy pass to, the, to your teammate over here for a jump shot. So it's more than just you.